So we've seen rain, wind, yes, even some sun today. This video taken right outside of our King 5 studios. It's been kind of a mixed bag, and we know one thing for sure tonight, it is not over yet. So let's get to Adam to talk about Boy, we had right. a little bit of almost everything. It's crazy. Yeah, day it was out the there, last yeah. night as we were ending the shows, we started to notice the winds picking right. up. And so we started to notice some reports coming in as far as power outages, mm -hmm. even some minor damage here and there. And then, yeah, this morning and then the afternoon, too, with the strong storm that helped to produce the tornado warning. Now, thankfully, uh, nothing was really ever confirmed as far as the tornado on the ground with that. But just kind of comes to show you just the type of air mass we were dealing with this system producing all this lightning and thunder. Sun is just set here in Polsbo, but we were pretty close to that. That storm that moved just south of us that was under a tornado warning earlier today and sun beginning to set here also at paradise as you can see the snow all that on the ground there we're gonna put some more down as we go into the night a few snow showers around as we go into tomorrow as it looks like most of the moisture should be out of here we'll keep winds only around 5 to 15 so a lot of things the winds the rain chances the snow all beginning to taper off but still gonna be around for tonight snow levels down to around 3,000 feet as we go on into the day tomorrow 44 winds coming out of the west Still up there, but not quite as high. 13 miles per hour with the rain coming down here in Seattle. Let's talk more about the wind because generally it looks like it's coming more out of the west and the southwest and generally around a 10 to 20 miles per hour. High spot right now for us here in Everett at 20. 16 in Oak Harbor and then yeah, seeing some of the wind gusts closer to about 28 and 25. But with each new update as far as the information that's coming into us, we're seeing fewer and fewer of these numbers popping up. So the gusts are not quite as uh, widespread as what we were noticing earlier into the day. Now looking at the winds tonight, uh, those will start to subside 5 to 15 miles per hour by about 7, 8, 9 p.m. And then generally around 10 10 to 15 as we get closer to midnight and then tomorrow around 5 to 10 miles per hour as we start off tomorrow morning. Now we are seeing the rain still coming down a little heavier as you go farther north and especially for us here into the foothills of the Cascades now just beginning to head it. Now it looks like over and east of Issaquah North Bend. We're going to be in store for some of that and you can see behind there too as you go farther south some widespread areas of some heavier rain too which you can notice right there lightning strike showing up. So not done with the thunderstorm activity altogether but a lot of it is beginning to uh, really dissipate as we're losing a lot of that instability. Light showers farther to the north and again for us just north of Aberdeen. It looks like just south of Wishka. Uh, we're seeing that thunderstorm that's pushing on through right now for us. But later into the night, most of the moisture will be up into the Cascades and that's why you see so much of this widespread white color showing up there. Many of us around Puget Sound by about 8 to 9 p.m. We'll see some showers still left behind, but a lot of the heavier stuff moving on out of here. Then by tomorrow morning, 630, most of us dry. A few sprinkles possible and a lot of the daytime hours. I don't think we're going to have to worry about any sort of precipitation at all, but it's tomorrow night that this next surge comes in from the south and just look how widespread the rain is going to become by the time we head into Thursday night and into Friday. Boy, a lot of heavy rain with our atmospheric river there and amounts of rain still yet to come with this next wave as we go on to early Friday. We're talking about an inch to two, perhaps three in some locations and then additional snow with the higher snow levels starting to come with that atmospheric river only around five to ten here as we go throughout the next couple of days. So not a big snow producer. Most of it will happen here into the night. Here are your highs, low to mid 50s here over the next seven days, cooling down a bit more with showers and sun breaks by next Tuesday. Veterans Day 54 with an increasing chance of rain. Joyce. Alrighty, thank you.